Hebrew Israelites, we come out here every weekend okay. to prophesy the downfall of Babylon. And first off, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, 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 Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. We're also here to wake up the up about people with y'all Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, Zebulon, Ephraim, Manasseh, Gab, Reuben, Naphtali, Asher, Ishakar. All right, the twelve tribes of Israel. Now we're going on to um, the nigga woman, our, uh, our women, which we don't want to uh, declare them as our women right now because they're beasts. Now we uh, recently had uh, this this old this old woman uh, uh, got slammed down. Who was it? Uh, police? How old was she? Yeah, uh, seventy uh, six. Now, if somebody was to slam her down like that, she had to be, uh, have been have been doing something, and then being charged for uh, twenty years. Twenty years. Now. Now, let me say we get started. When the brother brought out these tribes, those are the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and that's what he's going into about the so-called black woman, man. These Israelites, that's the curses, you know? Mammoths. That's, like he said, that's the curses. The curses. Eating too many Chick-fil-A sandwiches. For all women to be walking around like that, now that's that's some serious depression. You should get this thing down. And if you're big, but then you're nasty, then that's 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 a problem. You can bring out the scripture. Proverbs 30 and 20. Such are the ways, or such is the way of an adulterous woman. Yep. She eats and wipes her mouth and says, I have done no wickedness. <laughs> Hun, she eat and wipe it from her mouth and say she's done no wickedness. Everything she does, she uh claim to uh they want. They don't even claim. They want that uh that that uh equality. Okay. They want everything from this whole entire world. But yet they still complain when they got it. Well they at least got a form of it. They still complain. Say they, they eat it and wipe it from their mouth. It says, uh, she eat it from wiping from mouth and says, I have done no wickedness. Uh, so no wickedness. They, um, they got that law. They got the law where you can't hit women. Now, they hit you, but yet they complain. They call the police and start crying and saying they done nothing. Okay? Now that's the punishments and the curses that we're going through. Uh, the women too. But we're being punished by the Lord. He, yeah, and he's using our women to do it. Huh. He said, you want to go against me, then I'll just turn your women against you. I think that's in Jeremiah that he said that. Uh-huh. Make uh, our women over us. Yep. A woman shall compass a man. Huh. huh. But the Lord also said, he shall make uh, man more precious than fine gold. I got a scripture right here. Jeremiah 3 and 1. They say, if a man put away his wife and she go from him and become a, another man's, shall he return unto her again? So not that land be greatly polluted, but thou hast played the harlot with many lovers, yet return again to me, saith the Lord. That's that's going into uh, uh, our people say the harlot of different philosophies, you know. And the Lord called His women, called us His woman, delicate. So He put our women that was supposed to be tender and delicate, made them evil towards us. That's in Deuteronomy 28 when He said the tender and delicate woman turned them into complete demons, monsters. Yeah, de demons. Yep. Sometimes, literally, walking around that big, nasty. Yep. Attitudes and shit, you know? Right. I got another scripture. Lamentation, uh, I think it's four. Lamentation is four. Sorry. Four and, um, 
start at uh, three. It says, even the sea monsters draw out the breast. They give suck to their, to their young ones. It says, the daughter of my people has become cruel, like the ostriches in the wilderness. Uh. And, and uh, if I can say this, because it says that, you know, the sea monsters, you know, when, it's, when you're in the sea, you know, sometimes it's, you know, you got, you got predators and stuff right around you and stuff like that. And they still, they still, uh, <laughs> they still give the, uh, the, the milk, you know, onto their young ones, right? You, you look at the, the, the black women nowadays, the milk that they giving them is that Similac, Infamil, uh, I forgot the other one. You know what? Yeah, powder milk and stuff like that. You know, when you really should uh, be Infamil. Yeah, Infamil, Similac, and it's another one that they that they that they be love giving them. When you really, you really supposed to be giving the uh, the child the uh, you know the breast milk. You know, they don't they don't. Uh, it's really really rare to have a woman that's a mother, a black one, a so-called black woman that's a mother Devil. that that is uh. That is, you know, get breastfeeding their children. You know? Zero pro no, no, that's another. It don't matter, it's all that yeah, fucked up shit. Yeah. But all you said what? Pro soldier. That's just uh kinda like um soy um times for people that's like lactose. Yeah, our women don't 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 believe in breastfeeding anymore. They believe in all that philosophy of powder milk for the so-called white man, man. Yep. You know? Anymore they ain't do that shit. When that shit came out. 50 years ago, they was feeding us that, feeding us that shit. Yeah. I mean, it you, was you carnation know, then. It was carnation then, you know? You know it's bad. You, you know something's wrong with the milk is supposedly powder. This is, you, you know something's wrong Imitation. With it. Right. Oh, yeah. can, I, can, I, can I make a point real quick? Ba basically, um, another animal milk shouldn't be made to build and nourish a, a human body. It's bad for them. That's why them kids be spitting it up and all that stuff, man. It ain't really, it ain't really good for them. Unless it's goat. Yeah, it's on. Goat milk. Oh, Joe, That's, that's a sick. The Rock 25 is good. All we do with that woman. The Rock. 25 and 26. And it's something how uh, you might want to speak up a little bit. It's something how the so-called white man, everything he does is uh, upside down. No, like we're supposed to drink goat milk, but this they got us drinking cow milk. Right. Everything is upside. Everything, down. all the laws and everything is back. That's a harsh punishment for us to be uh, going through all of this. But it's also to uh, make us learn. What do you think uh, children get beat for, which they're trying to stop that? Which they have stopped it. Yeah. yeah. Making everything uh, effeminate. Yep. Job 39 and 17. Uh-oh. Because God, you know what? Yeah, number start at 13. Huh. It says, gave us thou the goodly wings unto the peacocks, or the wings and feathers onto the ostrich, it's a question mark. Because when you look at our women, you know, they, they be having a nice size butt and all that stuff. That's just to gather other people's attention, just like the, the peacock, when, you know, it's a male peacock, when they want to gather uh, another, uh, the, uh, the women peacock attention, they try to they try to uh, spread their, their wings, you know? So the women, they get the, they got the, 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 the butt, you know, and they try to show that off in order to get attention from other guys. Right? Well, they can have it. Yeah, yeah they can. They don't even wipe right. They don't even wipe right. Put it in. It, <laughs> they put it in. Take it out. Nothing there. It's gone. That's yeah. true. It says, uh, which leaves her eggs in the earth and warms them in the dust. Right? It says, and forgets. Oh, uh. Or the, 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 the black woman, they'll put the, uh, their child in a daycare, school. And, uh, we were just talking about it uh, earlier with the uh, church. 
Yeah, they put them in church. Oh, that's why. And they, they allow, uh, the, the, that church is just nothing but another form of daycare, man. And all the churches are secondary. It's another form of a, a rape house. Forcing their children to be even more confused when they get older, man. That's why you got old girls and then old boys, too, getting raped. Yeah. That's all it is. Damn, like, man, man, there's only a black woman that's actually teaching their children something. You know, when they, when they, when the child come home from school and they get the little assignment and stuff like that, and they got the little outlines and stuff, they'll give them a box of crayons. Yeah, you better color that and, you know, make sure that your, your nose is in a circle. That's the only thing that they do, something that the, the school teaches them. They don't even do that. Right. Turn outside of the school. Yeah. And then they have Mother's Day. What the hell you need a Mother's Day for? Uh, and then what the hell you supposed to be doing? Right. You need recognition for something that you're supposed to do. Aren't you supposed to honor your family every day? They, that's guys. why these mothers ain't really, they, they claim to be Christian. Not a, not one day out of a week. What kind of sense did that make to honor your, your family one one day out of a oh, year? Yeah, I know, yeah, they are. It says, uh, and forgets that the foot may crush them or that the wild beast may break them. She is hardened against her young ones as though they were not hers. Her labor is in vain without fear because God has deprived her of wisdom, neither hath he imparted to her understanding. Uh, yes, yeah, sir. I thought it was 29. 25. Uh, we just go with the spirit. If something else come up, you just go somewhere else, you know? Uh -huh. Which one you want me to get? You want me to get something particular in there? Or you want me to start at the first verse? Oh, you can start at the first verse. Sirach 25, which is the book of Ecclesiastes in the Apocrypha. Okay? 25 and 1. In three things I was beautified and stood up beautiful both before God and men. It says the unity of brethren, the love of neighbors, and a, uh, it says a man and a wife that agree together. It says three sorts of men my soul hates, and I am greatly offended at their life. A poor man that is proud, a rich man that is a liar, and an old adulterer that doted. If thou hast gathered nothing in thy youth, youth, how canst thou find anything in thine age? Our, our own people, right? Our own people are the worst, okay? Halfway even worse than Esau, even though Esau caused it, which ultimately was through the Lord. But our people are the worst. You gotta deal with them every day. Yeah. You uh, you going through the struggle, man. You expect to, that when you you know that how the struggle is, that you're not gonna you gonna you gonna overcome that. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna be like how you're not gonna struggle with the struggle. You know? And you got some people that they they these people be like 50, 60, 70 years old, and all they know is back then what they was doing when they was little kids. They, they didn't grow any they didn't grow anything when they got older you know when they when they ended up being in their 20s they didn't learn any wisdom you know in their 20s these niggas be chasing at the little, little uh, chicks man you know some niggas be 30 years old still living with their mother and shit it's like, it's and the ones that be living with their mothers while uh just going out here being uh Obeying things like this matters. <laughs> it says, How, oh, how calmly a thing is judgment for gray hairs and for ancient men to no counsel. That's going in the order. These old, old fools don't handle order, man. Yes. They don't, they don't know what's righteous. You know? Some of the OGs, what they call OGs, they still trying to get it like they still young. Yeah. You know, ain't even trying to warn the little children, hey man, they ain't what y'all supposed to be doing. Right, you right. Know? 
they, they, they trying to get the little children to hustle for them. Yep. Man. They're doing the same, the wicked ass shit, man. Old generations such as them failed the new one. Yeah. They failed. Okay. There was a guy in the camp that said that. He said, your generation has failed us. Like the generation before me, us failed me. Well, which really the Lord did it. The Lord, that, that in order for that to work, you would have to have those curses. Yeah, yeah. This place has got to be clean. It's got to be cleansed. And 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 when when um, a generation gets destroyed, the next generation gets worse, 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 and worse. Yeah. You know? That's why we can't. That's why we can't. Uh, uh, that's why this place cannot be abiding forever. The earth is yeah, but not. Not this place. That's because the earth has a foundation. Uh, the earth has a foundation at the end of the day. These, our people, we don't have a foundation. You know? No matter how far you go into the earth, it's always going to be something at the bottom of it. You know, that, that, it, like, like, if we did right now, right? Like, let's say we got, we, we brought, brought up this stuff and we got into the dirt. After a certain point in time, you're going to get to the point where it's starting to be rocked. You know, because right, right. the, the, the the even though it's dirt right here, for example, right. there's rock at the bottom of it. Right. That's what's keeping it up. Right. You know, the earth got a foundation that you know is is sturdy. Right. You know, our people we don't have nothing that you know, right. like you said, the generations they keep on going back. Right. It ain't built on nothing. Right. Even the earth is saying, "Lord, help me." Yeah. Yeah, yeah it is. You know, the it the like scriptures this. say that the earth mourneth, fadeth away. You got a whole island the size of France. You got straight, uh, trash in space. Well, and then you got this new uh, virus that came out, the uh, c uh, coronavirus. Yeah. Put them, uh, them uh, the Moabs. Yep. yep. They, uh, they're getting afraid now. They're seeing more cases here in, in, in the U.S., especially over there in Washington. And this would be the opportunity for the CDC to release that shit because they already have it. There ain't nothing but SARS. They already have it. So if they release it, that would be, you know, a great opportunity to release it and say it came from China. <laughs> and if you niggas out there are stupid, you got a whole uh, organization named CDC, Center of Disease Control. Now, if it's named Center of Disease Control, what do you think that is? Center of Disease Control. They have control over it. Yeah. Right. Uh, I'm gonna go back, I gotta go back to that. Um, this is uh, Isaiah 24 and 4. It says, The earth mourns and fades away. The world languishes and, and fades away. The hardy people of the earth do languish. It says, The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance broken the everlasting covenant. So this all goes back from even our people. We're really the responsible ones for uh, losing control of the earth and polluting it. Even though the white man, he's just a, a devil that's set up to play a part. So it's like, if if you want to infestate something, you know, you if, let's say the Lord wanted, say you wanted to infestate a house with mice. Well, you would let loose some mice in there to destroy and infestate the hot the, the house. That's like yeah. the uh, show that they got where people hoard their house, like hoarders. Right. Right. Uh, they're using their own home, earth, as a damn trash place, a, 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 a dump. They're using the uh, outer space as a trash can. Got space trash. Got island size of France. What sense did that make? Plastic. Right. Styrofoam. And now they got to go, they got to get rid of the styrofoam to say they not uh, ban styrofoam use, you know? All right, go ahead. Um, Ecclesiastes 25 and 7. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy, and a tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that has joy of his children and he that lives to see the fall of his enemy. It says, as well as him that dwells with a wife of understanding. Right, when you go back, because you can break it down as you go along. 
Read the one before that. It says, uh, a man that has joy of his children and he that lives to see the fall of his enemy. Right, you, you're supposed to be wanting to see the fall of your enemy and have joy of your children, you know? And the scripture breaks down itself. You know, the fall of your enemy is who? Esau. Right. And then, uh, and then they got these churches where you uh, where the cross is around your neck. So if, let's say you, if you were to ever die by somebody hanging you on a cross, I wouldn't want to wear the same cross on my neck. Right. Right. I'll be wanting to kill that motherfucker. Whoever killed my father, then I would be right, uh, if I would want blood. Somebody kill your family member, you would want to kill them. You ain't going to go, oh, okay. And that's your both of them. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> give them a, a, a hug or something. Bubble. Uh, yeah. Like that uh, Edomite gave that man a hug. Yeah. Oh, that man gave that Edomite a hug. Yeah. A bunch of penis. Huh. A bunch of pieces. A whole bag of pieces. It says, Well is him that dwells with a wife of understanding, and that has not slipped with his tongue, and that has not served a man more unworthy than himself. Well is him that has found prudence, and he that speaks in the eyes of them that will hear. Oh, how great is he that finds wisdom. Yet is there none above him that yes. fears the Lord. So how great is the man that finds wisdom? It's a beautiful thing for us to be here. You know? That's, that's like the greatest blessing. Yep. To be honest. The man that finds wisdom is right, is right here. That's better than being gifted anything you want in the world. Right. That's the best thing that you could ever have to learn the truth. Well, that, that's the revelations too. When you are uh, two and nine, when you go into it, this wisdom, because uh, it talks about knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, is this knowledge is pretty much the, the kingdom of heaven. You know, the the, the knowledge, the, knowing that we are the men of the Lord. You know, you gotta walk like you like you a man of the Lord. The you know, you gotta have that mindset, that kingdom the mindset. Prince right of now. power. Yeah. Yasha Allah. Yup. The kingdom of heaven starts within you. Yeah. yeah. Yep. That's what the scripture say. Yep. So you get this knowledge, man. This is beautiful, man. Yep. That's all you should, should thirst for. Yep. Yeah, you but know? the Lord, what is that, Romans? Can, can somebody get Romans 11 and 7? What the fuck is that? I don't know. Uh, training troll. I, I don't know what the hell it is. I regret putting, even putting the camera on that thing. Yeah. I, I don't know what that is. Talk like a slow man. I don't know <laughs> what that is. <laughs> That's a training troll. Go ahead, man. And that's why this place got to be destroyed. Yeah. You can't have something walking around like that, such as foul like that. Romans 11 to 7. It says, What then? Israel has not obtained that which he seeketh for. Uh oh! But the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Yep. The election have obtained it. The rest, they don't got it. Yeah. They're blind. And the scripture talk about giving me giving me neither poverty nor riches. Yep. Right. You yep. know? Unless I be full and forget you. Yep. Or be uh uh what do you say uh, poor and uh, curse you or something like that. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, give uh give revelations two and nine real quick. I'm not trying to take go, I'm just yeah. just going into what we were talking about. Uh two beginning. thirds. Why do you think we call them two thirds? Because two thirds of our people are niggas. The one third of our people yeah, are us. Like, the ones that are in the truth. And we got to pray that we ain't up to two thirds because we don't know. All right, go ahead. <laughs> we, uh, at least we know what a two third is. Two we, thirds we're on the right, what a two -third Yeah, we're on the right path. <laughs> at least we're called. Yeah. At least we're called. Yeah. This is Proverbs 13 and 20. Yeah, it's 13 and 20. It says, he that walketh with, walketh with wise men shall be wise. Yep. But a companion of fools shall be destroyed. Yeah, man. <laughs> a companion of fools shall be destroyed. You know, we talking about like the uh, people who like God. laughing at uh, people who like flicking God off and stuff. Yeah. Those type of people. Which is, Which it, is literally, it's literally impossible <laughs> to, 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 to put the middle <laughs> finger up at the one that created. 
that's impossible. You like it's you you literally put physically can't even do that. Right. <laughs> It well, doesn't you know make what? any sense. Let the man eat his pork. That's how I did a video. <laughs> and brothers comment and say, hey, that's a good point yeah. to look at it. I I'm, do like that. It's to eat pork. That's all. I'm yeah, that's a nigga. I'm going to restate that. Um, right. Two thirds. This whole side. Bigger than us. Uh, uh, um, most of the percent of our, uh, our people. Our stakers. Now we got 144,000 profits. And, and one third of the ones that's in the truth. The ones that's uh, really for the Lord. Right. Right. So, that's sad. Most of our people. And that's only a little bit of us. A hundred, um, one third, two third of niggas. Yep. You know, it might be sad, but it's the greatest thing we got right now. Because <laughs> at least we can separate ourselves from the rest of the world. Right. Yeah. See now, if he was a. If, right. he, if he was a, a little uh, a Marion up there doing some little jig dance and singing with a microphone, everybody be coming up with a big white statue of Jesus. You know, and he preaching with the little necktie and the shiny buckle shoes. He doing the work of God. He's doing the will of Jesus. Right on, They'll be brother. dropping a bunch of piles of dollars. God loves all. Bye. Be saved. Repent. Y'all uh, read Revelation 2 and 9 out. Revelation 2 verse 9. Uh oh. I know thy works and mm. tribulation. The Lord knows our works and tribulations. Go ahead. And poverty. Yep. Oh, but oh. thou art rich. Uh oh, yep. that's what I wanted to get. That's what we was going into early in the lesson. Oh. That we're really rich. Right. That's what the apocrypha was saying. Oh. Like you said you know? a few times. If you if you were to be rich, you would want to go to somewhere else where nobody really isn't. Right. That was funny. Uh, that's a good point. Us. That's a good point. Uh, Revelation 3 and 9 say the same thing. Say the same thing, yeah. Yep. We're rich with knowledge, but we're not in the middle mixed with a whole bunch of people who doesn't have the richness of knowledge. Right. That's all of us. And it makes sense because now when you step outside, when you can look at football, you can look at sports, you can look at news. You can look at everything and see all the wickedness that revolves. Now, there's nothing wrong with, you know, you're entertaining yourself because I watch movies and all that. But we understand that this is all vanity of vanities. You know, it's all wicked. It's all bread and circuses. It's all set up, man. This is like a plot, a ploy that was set up and orchestrated all by the Most High. The Most High said he know the number of the hairs in your head. Think about that. Nobody can never, look, the devil can never, ne never really number the, the, the hairs on your head. You know how he would do it? He would number the first portion of your hair, and then what he would do is mathematics, multiply it or down and say this is estimate of what it is. Right, because when you look it up in Google, they will always say it's an estimate. It's always an they estimate. Never the, the, the direct, uh, they don't know. But we get that spiritual power, right? You're going to be able to look at you and say, you got 656 million strands of hair in your head. You don't tell me that ain't some spiritual power, man. And on your body, most like us. Yep. You're on your body, too. On your body. That's how some many, serious spiritual power. How many cells? He can't even tell you how many cells you got. Yep. You're going to have like a digital relay. You know, go ahead. How many of the uh, designs on your skin, which is the palms, yep. that you got? The smartest, the smartest computer couldn't even tell you that. Well, the computer, you saw get the computer. See, everybody think the so-called white man is smart. He stole everything. All the inventions, everything he got come from the ancient times, even in Egypt, when they had the ancient the inventions. Who do you think did most of those inventions? Israelites. Just like in this uh, Egypt, they they stole the inventions from the Native Americans. The air conditioner, where do you think it came from? The refrigerator, where did it come from? You got a bunch of walking refrigerators out here today. Yeah, the, the Native Americans had refrigerators where they they built a deck in the ground yep. and they stored food in there Calm. for the whole fucking summer Calm. or winter. They had the first ovens. Come on now. The white man came over here was eating itself, man. They couldn't survive over here. 